Are you thinking about opening up an Etsy shop, but you're worried it's too saturated, there's too many sellers on there, or you're worried about the niche that you're in being too saturated, there's just way too much competition? Well, I'm gonna show you in this video how that can be a good thing and how you can use that saturation to your advantage. I'm Jenny with Jenny's Read Boutique, and I am a full-time Etsy shop owner, and I wanna teach you how you can do the same thing. First, let's talk about Etsy as a whole. I recently got an email from Etsy, and if you're an Etsy seller, you probably got the same email, and it was talking about their accomplishments over the year and how much the platform has grown. There's been a lot of TV commercials and things like that. It has brought in a lot more buyers to the Etsy platform. Last year, in September, as of September 30th, 2019, they had 44.2 million buyers on Etsy. And then a year later, September 30th, 2020, there were 69.6 .6 million buyers. I had to look at my notes because I wrote it down. I'll also include a little screenshot. And those numbers are just up until September 30th, 2020. And I know I've seen a lot more TV commercials from Etsy since then, so I'm sure that number is even higher. So Etsy has brought in so many more buyers. Yes, there are a lot of sellers, but Etsy is becoming more well-known and there are a lot more shoppers. I've even noticed the Etsy recognition personally. I'll tell you a little story. I buy a lot of florals. As you probably know, I am a wreath maker, so I'm constantly buying flowers and greenery in bulk. A lot of it I buy online, but some of it I buy in person as well. And often <laughs> the cashier will ask me, wow, are you planning a wedding? Or what are you doing with all these flowers? And I would say, oh, I have an Etsy shop and I sell wreaths on Etsy. And before they'd be like, oh, what's Etsy? Usually if they worked at Hobby Lobby, they know what Etsy is, but other places they'd be like, oh, what's Etsy? And I'd tell them and things like that. But lately everyone is like, oh, Etsy. Yes, I love Etsy. Great. And they have a story about they bought something on Etsy or they love Etsy or they know someone who has an Etsy shop too. Etsy is becoming so much more well-known just overall. The second thing I want to point out is that a saturated niche can actually be a good thing. Also, do you say niche or niche? I hear it both ways. I've always said niche because the riches are in the niches. You can't say that without saying niche, but I hear niche too. The way it's spelled, it looks like niche, but I say niche. Let me know which one you say. <laughs> if your niche is saturated, it shows that there's a demand. If there wasn't a demand, there wouldn't be so many people selling that thing. As I mentioned, I sell wreaths on Etsy, and there are a lot of other wreath makers on Etsy. There's a ton of competition. There's so many beautiful wreaths. So many and I'm actually friends with a lot of the other wreath makers and just because there are a lot of other wreath makers or whatever niche you're in it does not mean that it's too crowded I'm friends with a lot of other wreath makers and most of the ones that I've talked to they've had their best year ever this last year I also had my best year ever in 2020 um, as re in regards to Etsy sales and income, and I will be doing a video on that very soon. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the bell to be notified when I get a new video out so you don't miss it. You're gonna love it. I did one for 2019 numbers and 2020 numbers are fantastic and I'm so excited to share that with you guys. Anyway, what I was trying to say with that is even though I had my best year ever. There's more wreath makers than ever out there. My wreath making friends had their best years ever from what I've known of them and talked to them about. So it doesn't have to be, oh, there's too many people there. There's no room for me. No, there is room. When they make more sales, it doesn't mean I have to make less sales and vice versa. We all made more sales this year. There are more buyers. There are more people buying online. <laughs> we all had a great year. Let's talk about another niche that's very popular on Etsy, and that is jewelry. That is very saturated, you would think. And a lot of people sell jewelry. It's beautiful, and there's so many different kinds. But if you're just thinking, oh, there's so much jewelry sellers on Etsy, I can't do it. I'm going to be lost. Let's look at the jewelry. Let's go to categories, click on jewelry. That is a lot of jewelry. 
So we can narrow that down even more. And then let's just say earrings. And then you narrow earrings down because there's so many different kinds of earrings. Let's say stud earrings. I love stud earrings myself. <laughs> Very simple. And then you can filter it even more. Let's say gold earrings. So now we have jewelry, earrings, stud earrings, gold. That's already down to 60,000 um, options now. And then let's narrow it down even more. Let's just say minimalist. So you see how we niched down. Oh, I said niche. So you see how we niched down and we went from jewelry, which is very broad, down to gold stud minimalist earrings. That would be a long tail keyword, for example. Anyway, so you can use a larger niche like jewelry and narrow your shop down or your individual listings down to be able to get found in a very large niche such as jewelry. Once you have niched your shop down, niched your listings down, then you make sure your listings are optimized. You have wonderful pictures so that when you are found and your listing shows up in the search results because there's a lot less results to choose from once the customer has narrowed down their options, then you will get found. That's when they click on your listing because it's beautiful and you have a beautiful photo and you get more sales. And that is how you use a very saturated niche to your benefit. And in order to do all those other things, optimizing your listings, taking great photos, I have a whole Etsy playlist you can watch and I hope those tips will be very helpful for you. The third thing I want to talk about with the saturation of Etsy um, and how that's not a bad thing and how there's room for you too is there are so many more people shopping online, especially this last year with things getting shut down. There are more people shopping online than ever before and I don't see that going away. So it's only going to grow. Not that there haven't been problems with that. <laughs> the disaster shipping fiasco of holiday 2020, if you know what I'm talking about. Ugh, shipping was a nightmare. Sorry, that is such a sidetrack. If you have a shipping horror story that you want to share, please let me know in the comments. Let me know that I am not alone. <laughs> Thankfully, they've all been worked out at this point, but I'm kind of curious to know. Sorry, I got a little sidetracked. When you mix Etsy's growing recognition through all of their advertising and celebrity partnerships and things like that, Etsy is being well known and more people are shopping online overall and you mix that and there's just so much more opportunity with Etsy. And yes, it's saturated. Yes, it is. But that just means it's doing well. It People are successful on Etsy. So other people want to do it too. If you didn't know of any Etsy success stories, like mine is a success story, for example, if you didn't know of those, why would you want to do Etsy? But you see other people succeeding. So you want to do it too. And that's great because there's, there's room. Saturation shows demand. And if you have your listings, set up in a way that they can be found, just narrow down people's searches. And so if people are searching for a specific thing that matches your item, you'll be found in a saturated niche. And if you optimize your listings with great photos, great descriptions and tags and titles and all those other things I talk about in other videos, you will be so successful on Etsy even if the niche is saturated and you're just starting. And I want you to know if you haven't started an Etsy shop yet and you want to have no risk, I have a link. If you want to sign up through that link, it will get you 40 free listings. It'll also get me 40 free listings, which is great. And I really appreciate it if you sign up through that link. Anyway, I hope you like this video. Please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that yet. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.